that's the last oh time God. that Aaron was here. She started the stream by saying <laughs> that she fucked somebody's mother. Now I'm saying that Aaron said it. So, hello, world. Uh, we're here to do some dumb shit. <laughs> Good for you, Aaron. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think my mom's single, so like, whatever. <laughs> Somebody's mom might get fucked tonight. It's a mystery. We'll oh. find out. Uh, what so, a game we play. Yeah, so uh, Amanda, you want to tell us what happened last time? Uh, I was locked in a room. Yes, you were me. locked in a room. Um, I, feel like, I feel like I took notes, but I don't know where they are. I feel like you did too because you've been doing that occasionally but like every time you tell us what you write down i'm like that's never gonna make sense i think you wrote one thing down amanda because we (laughs) joked about it that's yeah you know what that makes that makes a lot of sense for me hold on i found a book i think both francois and myself are slightly singed and pissed okay i have notes it's nonsense there was no fire it was just a fire alarm Uh, yeah the fire alarm yeah um I was no. I wrote I drama club exclamation animal. point. That's cool. I remember what happened. I remember now. Okay, Kayla can do it. I'm really bad at notes. <laughs> it was just uh Bosik and Eris, and they independently were trying to get information on who is <laughs> who is um AI writing students' work or who created the technology to do it. Yeah. And um we both went to two different spots to talk to some people, but Eris started to infiltrate the drama club by finding out that there is a show that we're all going to go to. And uh, we tried to lock Nick in her room so that way she wouldn't come find us at the show. <laughs> that's that's a pretty good, pretty good summation, yeah. There would be no negative consequences to that at all. Right. Absolutely not. We're pretty uh, sure that Claire is behind it, but we have to find out the details now. That right. bit. Of course she is. Yeah, I have on my notes, it says Claire <laughs> in big letters. <laughs> That's all you need, really. Like, really? What honestly, other notes would you possibly take? Honestly, I'm not surprised. Claire is a bitch. Mm-hmm. The biggest bitch. But and all of the drama club people also bitches. Yeah, so many but, bitches over there. But she's not that bitch, so. Okay. But... <laughs> it's the processing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're like, whatever. I'm ignoring this asshole. <laughs> That's most of the time. Yeah, I can confirm. <laughs> Uh, So before we get started, though, because I'm going to actually be like, not really professional, but semi-professional, we've got a whole bunch of shit coming up this week, um, like between our two channels, really. Oh, that's true. uh, Tomorrow we're playing Monster Hearts. I do have it on here for 8.30, but I think we're starting at 8. Yeah, that's true. uh, I'm going to actually fix that right now. And then I'm going to forget to edit this out. So That's on the Even Footing Games Twitch channel. Yeah. And that is our Monster Hearts reunion. It's the, uh, I guess, sequel-ish to yes. the Monster Hearts campaign. But you also don't need to necessarily have watched or listened to that. No. Just, just I'm going to be Sky Daddy this time. <laughs> yeah, you are. My yeah. my character will now be a, an NPC <laughs> doing chaos. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and I guess there's less than I, I remembered because uh, Thursday got canceled. Uh, <laughs> but Saturday, I'm doing the finale of Star Wars Scum and Villainy. 
uh, where I might actually kill everybody because uh, they just got uh, mean mugged by a Sith Inquisitor. So you know, it's totally fine. They're they're not gonna get murdered like five minutes. No problem. Now. Yeah, uh, and then also. I'm just going to go ahead and say, like, next Monday, uh, we're doing Cracker Barrel Has Fallen. I'm super excited about that. Uh, if you're listening to this on the podcast, that's Monday the 12th, so you'll still have potentially time to watch that live. If not, watch it at some point in the future. I don't know. Uh, and then also the Babies and Broadswords on the 13th, uh, where we're doing... I'm calling it Little Cupids because Jason hasn't given me any more information. Uh, so I've, I've named it for him. Yes, little <laughs> little baby cupids in training. For... That's apparently I forget which one, but some Shakespearean thing that he's roughly adapting. Oh, he Perfect. probably put that in the chat that I didn't invite you to. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I forgot. I, I appreciate being not invited to chats occasionally. <laughs> I didn't figure you needed to be there. It's fine. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Uh, other than that, um, on the on the fifteenth is definitely wizards. That's true. That's true. I was I was moving on, but that's a, a good good point. <laughs> uh, that one's also at eight thirty Eastern, right? Yeah, maybe, probably, sure. Wait, Jason's not in that, so it's probably eight. <laughs> I don't know. It's all right. Jason there doesn't are... listen to the podcast. <laughs> there are a lot of new new folks in that one, so. Nice. If you're tired of just us. <laughs> Who could be tired of this array of faces, honestly? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is my favorite group of four people to play games with, so. Sure. Anyway. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> the other thing I was going to say is uh, check out our Patreon. Uh, both Even Footing Games and Hammer the Gods have Patreon. Uh, I currently make a whopping like two dollars and 37 cents thanks amanda uh so if you want to support the podcast and help us make slightly more than that that would be fantastic uh find us on the thing but otherwise uh nick how do you uh how do you get out of your room as the fire alarm is going off inside of your dorm uh you and francois are being drowned by uh this horrible klaxon sound Okay, well, um, so definitely um, I have, because my hair is in braids, you cannot see my art right now in this channel, but I have braids in my hair. And so I have a lot of bobby pins and I pull out one that is, uh, you know, not holding Francois in and uh, pick the lock. <laughs> nice. I That's love why I needs like a seatbelt sometimes. Yeah. Like I don't want I don't want him flying off. He's too important. To I love how you go to a... ever forget him. Yeah. I love how you go to a magic school. You have magic and yet you use bobby <laughs> pins to pick the lock. <laughs> lock picking is clearly the go-to answer. Bobby yeah. pins are magic. Like anyone with hair that has needed to place it somewhere. No, I was this. like, I have hair. I've never used bobby pins. So I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't think I have enough hair. That's the problem. Exactly. That's the I problem. used to. I used to. I had very long hair for a real long time. I feel like Nick read how to pick a lock in a book, and so she's always wanted to try to do mm -hmm. it. That's, Absolutely. That's exactly right. It was a it was a doom scroll that she spent too long with. You just get stuck on the same scroll. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Sometimes you have to listen to it repeatedly. Totally, totally. It's a very healthy choice. Or you, or you yep. kind of walk away a little bit, and it just keeps playing over and over again for a yeah. second. And you, <laughs> and by the time you come back to your phone, it's been, I mean, I mean, the scroll. <laughs> You've heard it five times. Freudian slip there. <laughs> we'll see. Has never happened to Aaron, obviously. Or Nick, neither one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you would know that you had gotten a note from Eris like shortly before the fire alarm started going off that said that uh, something along the lines of they're going to the theater, something I think about Claire, uh, and then, yeah, you were locked in and the fire alarm started going off. So um, 
I don't think there was a whole lot more information than that, if I remember correctly, because uh, it's Eris. <laughs> Pretty sure it probably said Claire exclamation point going to theater question mark uh, bad guys there. That's probably all it said. I, I mean, that's enough. That, I don't know yeah. that I had that last part. <laughs> probably not. But if I see that Claire is in the note. I make sure to like put extra knives or something on my person <laughs> just because I know how evil she is. Okay. You suddenly are channeling your, your character from Fixius. No, no, this is, this is, I mean, of course, Nick has killed a man once just. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking Johnny Cash over here. I, I love the, the wave of, like, each of us reacting to it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This is um, glorious. Yeah, yeah, we're doing so good. <laughs> so good. Uh, what about Bosik and Eris? Are you headed straight to the theater at this point? I think we were already yeah. there. Okay. Yeah, I think we were I there. Know. I've slept since then. I forgot to write it down. Because, um, again, super professional. So, uh, Oh yeah, because you did. You saw the the protesters. That's right. Yes, we oh, saw yeah. the protesters, <laughs> and we know that they're the play is called Bard Malian. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's right. what Bard I've got Malian. written down. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they're they're protesting because uh, I'm just Kendanas won some <laughs> award. Yeah. Right. 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 Of course. Yeah. Not like any of Bard Malian's songs. The whole like point of the play. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like white people like, issues to Nick. That's that's what she thinks. <laughs> Nick is white people. <laughs> I understand that. But that's also what Aaron thinks. So Nick is my self insert. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I guess I guess we can be aware of our own problem. <laughs> yeah. Sure. So yeah, uh the, the protesters are like thronging outside of the theater. Uh, are you headed like straight into the um, like the seating area, or are you trying to go backstage, or what's the plan? Uh, I think the plan was to kind of meet in the back, in the back seating, and uh, keep an eye out for some people that we thought we would see there, right? That we know. I think so. Mm. Oh, we were looking to see if we knew anybody that was in the play, so that we could get an in. With like, with the theater group. Maybe. That makes sense. With the drama club, I, that's the word. I'm regretting not having taken notes last time because, you know, now I don't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you're both like in the the back of the theater, essentially, like the top row of seats. Um, I mean, it is a very old school like stone amphitheater, uh, open air. They're nice, like fancy columns of marble um like at the front of the stage that hold up lights and things and then you can see that there are like very luxurious purple uh like silken curtains off to either side that's like the backstage areas but currently they're just kind of like preparing you can see people uh like with darkened togas like moving around, like setting up set pieces and stuff. Hey, Bozik, do you think uh, we should try to like talk to anybody backstage or like any of the set design people? Yes, I believe that we would probably have at least a little bit of time before we'd have to take our seats. I think now would be a good opportunity to try and weasel our way back there, if, especially if you know anybody, have any connections. Yeah, um, we'll have to. Yeah, let's let's go ahead since we have a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and see if we see if I recognize anybody. Okay, like the backstage uh, group. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I guess yeah. I have a pretty good chance of knowing some people too from LARP crossover. Yeah, that makes absolutely. sense. Absolutely. I'm currently looking right now because thankfully I have a ton of notes on. It's chitons, just so everyone's clear. I know, I know. I said in the chat, I can't believe that I said the wrong word. Who am I? 
uh, I have fine artists club. So maybe some people backstage are in that as well. Maybe some oh, that's, set design that's people. True. That's very true. That's a good point. Um, also, I had forgotten until I was looking at my notes on the NPCs. You know who was in the drama guild besides Claire? Breaker. Mm-hmm. Oh no. no. <laughs> I had honestly completely forgotten that. And then I was like, oh shit. Oh, Aaron. Aaron has a type. Uh, oh my god. That's and amazing. they're both hobbits or halflings. Damn it. Hobbits. Yeah, hobbits. hobbits was right. Hobbits. <laughs> oh, Nick, honey. Damn, uh. damn it. <laughs> we need to really get you out in the, in the world and find you some uh, other people out there. By the way, Nick is swearing off all halfling relationships after this. No, no drama. No yeah. drama, people. No halflings. Obviously. Yeah. Oops, all Not known. working out. Now it's oops, all known. <laughs> um. Amanda, do you happen to have written down uh, who the people were you had the uh, the threesome with? Because I remember oh. that one was a Lannan and I think the other was a Triton, right? Yes, but I don't know have their names. Okay, cool. Uh, that's hot, fine hot because people. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it was uh, the two that I'm looking at right now, and if it wasn't, it is now. So okay. uh, yeah, you would. You would definitely know that uh, the Triton, he was in the drama club as well. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Not I guess so drama much, club uh, people can just fuck. Apparently. apparently. Fuck off. Out. Fuck on. Fuck with. <laughs> okay. All of it. Yeah, as fuck you, as, fuck as me. As, as soon as Nick fuck knows them. this, though, she th she's full on conspiracy theory. Claire sent Bricker to... <laughs> To seduce oh, you? This is just it's just getting worse and worse for Nick every episode. She's just yeah. spiraling oh, no. so yeah. hard now. This is now Nick's story. <laughs> and we're just accessories. Oh no. Aaron's become the main character twice no. now. <laughs> we're sensing a pattern, Aaron. Watch out. <laughs> Stop. Whole lot, no. of, whole lot of main character energy. <laughs> Just kidding. Actually, <laughs> she's just going to start wearing a, 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 a tinfoil hat and going back to Doom Scroll. <laughs> no. Uh, I was just picturing we'll the, not that. All the, the string and stuff. <laughs> I like that. I like that better. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, I mean, you would definitely know, like, Bricker would have at least talked about it some. And I, I do remember, now that we're on that subject, that... Uh, it came up whenever you first met her, but then it kind of just never came up again because you guys, you know, were off campus for the summer. Nick mm, repressed yeah. it. That I too. So. Like, let's just we're pretend judging. that you're not. She was like, I had such a good night with this person that I just am going to completely ignore the fact that they once told me they were in the drama club. And yeah. how it doesn't affect mm -hmm. the relationship at all. That's what happens when you you chariot. You ignore red flags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, what is the Triton's name? Uh, so I found the correct Triton. Uh, the correct Triton was uh, Cleodoxa. But I think you probably would have met their roommate, who is Vodos. Vodos? Yep. Whoa, that's so crazy. Um, when we played Curse of Strahd, me and Keisha, my uh, boyfriend played a Triton, and his character's name was Votaros. Ooh. <laughs> so, pretty similar. Weird. That is weird. Very weird. It's a good name for a Triton. Again, all the, yes. all the strings they're connecting. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> she's in the, she's in the uh, library doing the whole board. Oh, Nick went to the library instead of the theater? <laughs> Oh, damn it. Um, no. She has okay. to find this out first. This is just me imagining how she's going to She's be planning destroyed. how when she goes to Doom Scroll at 3 a.m., she's going to be able to use the board and draw yeah. all the lines for the conspiracy. I think yeah. that's why she likes the, do the Doom Scrolling room, because she gets the board all to herself that's back there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. 
Like, why mm-hmm. spiral out of control chaotically when you could plan your spiral and make it worse? Fair. Very fair. Nick is Please don't take that advice. <laughs> Please That's don't take good that advice. advice, Rick. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> I'll tell my therapist about that one. <laughs> I... I don't know how to feel about that, but okay. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, uh, Nick, so what is your plan? Okay, um, well, Nick, while having always auditioned for parts, never got any and only stuck around because she was dating Claire. (laughs) And so she used to stage manage. That's in the backstory (laughs) that she... Had, had never actually landed a part. Right. Um, despite Nick knowing that she has talent and has what it takes. <laughs> um, sure. But so she probably knows a couple people and knows enough about like the backstage stuff that she could like do a special knock to get let in. Because <laughs> they definitely <laughs> would not change the knocks like in between. <laughs> And even Huge if not, she has magical hairpins. It's canon now. <laughs> That's super accurate. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, are Eris and Bozik trying to be sneaky, or are you just, like, hanging out in the back of the theater? No. I think we were just kind of meandering back, and if we recognized somebody, then we would just kind of walk over and talk to them. Yeah, Paris it's is of, really like, good at being subtle, so so good at that's what that she was time. going for. <laughs> I imagine it's kind of that thing where you're like you're like at an event and you know that you're gonna run into somebody there, but like you don't know which person is gonna have like the most clout, you know? Right. Yeah. So you're like, oh we we probably know somebody here, so we better go, but we might run into the one person that can get us backstage, or we might just see like our classmate. From that one class that we hate. <laughs> yeah. But like we at least know them, sort of. Right. Right. Yeah. Enough to be go up and be like, hey, break a leg tonight. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Or both of them. Uh did you or take notes on that class? Because I ditched. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, uh, Nick. <laughs> Eris, you would also recognize that there is uh well actually, you know what? Both Eris and Bozik, because uh, he's also a LARPer, uh, would recognize the, uh, d- because it was originally d d uh, they're a Simic hybrid from the Ravnica um, module, that's the thing. Uh, but basically they're like a, a Triton, but they have a claw hand. Just like one hand okay. is like really big and claw, kind of like a big daddy, but. Okay. Yeah. Amanda doesn't know what that means. Up, <laughs> I can tell by her at all. <laughs> Bioshock. Bioshock. Oh, okay. Very like good. Like a suit of armor. Mm-hmm. I mean, got it. Who knows? He could also be a big daddy. I, I didn't. I didn't plan that. I was not judging. I just was curious. There's one way to find out. There, yeah, there is only one way. Bosnick would probably know just from looking at him. So. <laughs> sure. Yeah, because Bozik is the big daddy of the party, so. That's right. Big daddy Bozik. <laughs> you I can tell that, that, uh, that mile away daddy energy. Yeah, I need that on a shirt now. <laughs> big daddy Bozik? Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla. Thank you. I redeemed some channel points. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. Oh, did that, you? But if I, I did because I have oh. so many. No, and so uh, that's also for werewolf specifically. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you you cannot give your own party mate <laughs> inspiration. No. Why not? Uh reasons. <laughs> like <Fair. cheating. laughs> Anyway, uh so again, Arison Bozik would recognize um I think I forgot to say his name. Possibly. Yeah. Uh, Dick Sandros. Okay. So, you know, big, like, crab claw hand guy. Uh, moving all the, the heavy stuff because, you know, he 
pretty big. Um, well, there's Votos over there. I had a threesome with his roommate one time. And oh, Desandros is here. I know, right? I mean, Bolik was uh, there whenever you like initiated. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that's true. Kind of that's true. Oh, you remember? You remember that one time uh, with oh, the, the bar? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. was when Nick tried to kiss that one girl and it didn't go down too well, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's definitely I don't remember who it was, though. Ever. Let me tell you what I wrote down about that episode. Threesome with Triton and Leonin. That's it. That's all oh, you need. Oh, and they were both in the boxing club. That's what I wrote down. Yeah, that's all you need. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Because <laughs> mm. apparently that means they have good fingers. It means they're good with their hands, Strong. is what I said. Damn it. <laughs> we knew what the implication was. That's fine. That's fair. I understand. <laughs> Easily disjointed fingers. <laughs> God. Why? <laughs> Why? Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a good thing that we're never rails on this game to begin with. <sighs> we're way off them. Awesome. Yeah, we're way off. Anyway, uh, Nick, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm uh, pretending to be stealthy because I'm not actually stealthy, so I am trying, though. Okay. And I'm just going to try and, you know, walk in and, and like, I own the joint and nobody noticed me because I'm so used to being here, obviously. Well uh so i'm gonna say as you are attempting to sneak uh i was gonna say eris but i might have just walked off so bozik uh francois like starts climbing up your leg and then trying to get like down into your hand he's like crawling down your shoulder and like he's done this before where he wants you to like hold out your hand so he can like sit there and hang out and as you do, he's just like pointing over at Nick, who is trying really hard to sneak. But like, this is a very <laughs> crowded amphitheater. So there's not really any sneaking to be done. Like, she just grabs okay. a costume and like starts moving it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely nobody was going to need that right where it was. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Yeah. Bosnick uh, walks quickly up behind Nick and just gently places his hands on her shoulders and then just starts to kind of try and turn her <laughs> in a different direction than she's walking. Sorry. Pause, it Sorry, scared Nick. me. It's good to oh see you out gosh. of your room. I didn't expect to see you at the play, though. You're not one for live theater. Because you guys locked me in my room? <laughs> <laughs> well, Eris did that. Um, which I thought I mean, was quite clever use of her locking spell. She hasn't gone to use that yet. You should probably be proud of her for studying so hard and uh, nailing that one. Oh, yeah. I'm really, I'm really trying to be proud right now. I'm really working on it. Um, <laughs> it's fine. But she also sent me a note that said Claire Trauma Bardmalian or something like that. <laughs> so what's going on? Um, well, we were trying to do this without you. No offense, Nick. Uh, we wanted to surprise no, you with this big story where we were going to get all the details for you for the uh, journalism club and uh, give you kind of all the ammo you needed to write like this semester's hot story. But we figured we couldn't have you involved because it had to do with Claire. Oh, so, that's a really good point. Did you want me to go back to the yeah. library to doom scroll? Because I could do that. No, we don't want that either. I feel like now that you're here, you could probably be quite useful to us. Um, Eris and I were going to... You want me to kill Claire? I get it. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I think you can kind of be our intel. Because we were going to try and just uh, hope we know somebody and get in the back. But perhaps you can tell us the easiest way to actually get back there and uh, start talking to some people. The best way to get in the back. <laughs> um, Thanks, I mean, 
I would just uh, like pick up a costume and pretend like I knew what I was doing and just walk back there. So exactly what you were already doing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but they can't recognize you because then it would fall apart immediately. Um, right, they they know you're not in the club anymore, right? I mean, you guys fought but... them on the the <laughs> butt dome beach. Hmm. Possibly they may recognize all of us. <laughs> Forgot about that. Actually, Bozik um, wasn't there for the fight, so Bozik's the best one. That's okay, because so he was getting maybe... laid at beating Xanatos. <laughs> Xanatos, I Fair. still really am into you and Xanatos. I know, I Nick. Now's not the time for that you're either. Gonna, so you're gonna make if it, I was to just kind of go back there with a costume and uh, act like I'm in the show, what would be the best? the best area for me to head to to make it look oh, like I know you what I'm doing. would find somebody who is barking orders at everybody else and uh, say, somebody told me that you needed this, where do you want me to put it? And then people would start giving you orders and you could be there, talk to people and nobody would know anything different. Perfect. Perfect, Nick. I think perhaps that I should go in and you and Eris should stay out here and if you want to cause a little commotion, you can start uh, talking to the protesters about the show and maybe giving them some ammo on Claire. Just as a thought. Amazing. I, I, I could probably do that. Nick, what if we got the protesters to be less of a less of a silent protest? I mean, I, we, I would be encouraging of that. I don't know how we would do that because... Okay, I'm not sure, okay. but here's what's gonna happen. Bozik's gonna go back and do his thing, and we're gonna go infiltrate the protest and make it less peaceful. Let's go. Okay. I'm ready. All right, okay. let's do it. This sounds a gonna... wonderful plan. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna start with Harris and Nick because I honestly just wanna see how this goes down. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's let's head back out of the theater. All right. So the protesters are like just outside the front of the theater. Yeah, they're they're picketing like they've got signs and you know classic protest like they're marching and they're not really yeah, changing. Yeah. Like I mean, I think the the security constructs would come and probably you know escort them because it would disrupt the show. But so they're just holding picket signs quietly walking around. Yeah, angrily okay. walking. But yeah. Okay. Um. I had at some point back when this was a D&D &D type game, thaumaturgy and or prestidigitation, I'm not sure which one. Yeah, so I mean again, it's been a while since we've really used our magic in this magical school game. <laughs> <laughs> well here let me tell you what I would like to try to accomplish. Okay. Please do. <laughs> I would like to try to uh, make my voice come from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And I would like to shout, Kendonis is the best, and like maybe step on some people's toes. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I'm and gonna... while she's doing that, I want to try to do little magic bursts to make people's signs like fly out of their hands and hit other people. Okay. Um... It's a lot. This is a lot of drama. <laughs> For not being in the drama club, especially. Um, Eris. I, I have something in mind for Nick, but Eris, how do you want to do this? Like, how do you want to, what ability do you want to use to uh, make that happen? Um, geez, I don't know. Uh, so what I wanted to do was do like, uh, maybe like little bursts of air underneath the sign so that it like pushes them up out of their hands. Just to be silly. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it fight. Nice. Terrible. That's a D6. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to make this a snap roll for both of you, so. Uh, both and, of us yeah. have to roll fight? No. no. Oh. Nick, you have to roll charm. But we both get to use our magic D4, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. And I have an extra to charm. Nice. Yeah. Because What's of my goal number? Something. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I, was waiting, I was waiting for Aaron to finish talking. <laughs> oh, I just it because of my crown or my talisman, I have a plus to charm. Nice. Isn't that so, your worst? 
Charm is my second worst. Oh, Fight sorry. is my worst. Sorry. <laughs> Fight is my second worst. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to say you got it. I'm going to say it's a six because you got the D4. Oh, fuck. Right. You've got a D4 to it. So, like. I got an eight. Nice. Okay. Nailed it. I I got a four, but I get a plus one. So I got a uh -huh. five. And then can I use an adversity token? Yeah. Because it says here I have two. I don't uh -huh. know when the last time I updated that, but I'm guessing <laughs> I've been keeping track. Probably. And I would like to cool. meet my six. Yeah, absolutely. Well, meet it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so it goes off without a hitch, especially Eris. You, you, for once, hit with your spells like super well. Whenever it's not in combat, killing it. Yeah, in combat, no go at all. Yeah, she's just not a combat girly. She's just like high pressure situations now. Just real stressed out. Doesn't know what to do. It's fine. Yeah. It's the anxiety. Yeah, cannot, cannot take tests either. Except yeah. you're actually pretty okay at tests. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but she Jeez. tells everyone she can't. Yeah. Right. I was like, I'm just really bad at it, guys. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I got a 92. Luck, mostly. <laughs> mostly uh, luck. Yeah. And uh, Nick, yeah, you are able to shout uh, about how great Kendanis is. And uh, you said you're stepping on people's toes. Just like, I'm going to kind of move across the, the, the line of or in the crowd of people and just occasionally as i walk by i'm gonna step on somebody's toes accidentally right very <laughs> accidentally uh yeah people are getting pretty riled up and like there's some some shoving in this protest crowd um they don't seem to be like about to burn down the theater or anything but they're getting mad at each other okay that's a good start so yeah, I want to kind of find Eris in the crowd and go find her really quick. It's like you're trying uh, to find your friend in a mosh pit. I know, it's going to be Well, I'm great. probably taller than most of the people, so... Yeah. It should be easier. And I'm probably shorter, so it'll be really <laughs> easy for me to tell. <laughs> yeah, Eris just has to look for, like, this spot where there's a hole, where there's nobody. Right, yeah. <laughs> because there's just this dwarf, like, elbows out. Kicking people's shit. Like in a mosh pit, right. That's mm -hmm, the same mm -hmm. thing, yeah. I love it. Um, so, yeah, so I go and I say, this is a good start, but this is not going to get them to burn down the theater. No, we had to get them riled up. Now we gotta. Now we have to direct it. How are we going to direct it? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Do you have any ideas? No, I had a step one. I don't know <laughs> step what the next is, step is going to be. step two is always not sure what it is like nobody knows what step two is but step three and profit oh, no we wait. all know what step three is <laughs> but not step two okay how about um okay we need it to look like oh shit we need to get them angry at the theater people how are we going to do that how can we make them like focus um... on them or at least get them to go inside Ooh. Oh, can we just buy tickets and hand them out to everybody? And get I mean, them to get them to go inside a, and get mad. It's a I student mean, you could. Play, so, like, so it's free. Cool. Yeah. yeah. If you're a student, I, I was gonna say I have winged boots. I could like maybe fly up and say, "Storm the theater." All right. Make sure you're holding one of the picket signs. Yeah. I'll, I'll grab one off the ground that somebody <laughs> dropped. And Amazing. I say, let's show them that Barmalian is deserving of the, is the play, are they protesting for Barmalian or against Barmalian? I mean, yeah, they're protesting against, against the fact that I'm just Kim Donis, won the award and not Barmalian's song. Let's show them that Barmalian is the best and go be, uh, Go be the best audience and shout and clap and stand up and scream the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Let's go. 
That was some Charles, kind of argument. <laughs> Charles is not good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so uh, I probably yeah. should have done that. <laughs> probably. Yeah, I'm gonna need another another charm. <laughs> great, great. Uh, so good. So and you said that, that was your D6, right? That was my D6. Can I, okay. can I, is there like a help? There's no help uh, function, uh, is there? I mean, you could, you, you could. snap. Yeah, I mean, if it's not a snap, then you can help by giving your adversity tokens, but otherwise, no. But it is snap, because, yeah, uh, this okay. is going to be kind of an under pressure thing. Um, okay. And I'm going to say this one's a seven. Okay. Ooh. Come on, de desired effect dice. Woo! Was it a one? I got a, a one on my magic dice and a two on my d6. So even with my, yeah, I'm under by a lot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as you're like flying up with this sign, you can see that the security constructs are like marching towards you very oh, quickly. Shit. And on that um, note, let's head over to Bozik. Uh, <laughs> so Bozik, uh, you are making your way, like trying to go behind the stage or like backstage. Um, is there anyone in particular you're gonna like try to talk to, or are I'm gonna you take just... I'm gonna take Nick's advice and I'm gonna take the costume from her and just kind of like drape it over my arm. And walk in purposefully through the curtain and then look around for one brief second and go to whoever is currently standing around telling somebody what to do. Oh, it's definitely Claire. I mean, Claire is always yeah, telling great. everybody what to do. Okay, always. so I just go up to her like at an angle, you know, I don't approach her directly. Right. Kind of like off to her side. And I'm like, excuse me, I have that costume that you requested. I'm not sure where to put it. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Uh, our Kendanas is sick. I mean, can you fill in? Like, you know the lines, right? No. It's fine. I, Kendanas isn't even that important. <laughs> yes, I would agree with that. Anyways, where do you want me to put this? Yeah, put it on. No. Thank you. Uh, I was just told to deliver the costume. I'm not even really... Uh part of the ensemble cast. It seems a little ridiculous you would just ask the first person that you see to play the main role of your of your play, I'm just saying. The main role? It's Barbmalian. Have you not have you not seen it already? Uh I, I'm usually backstage a lot, so I've just gotten in bits and pieces, you know. I just know the beats. I don't know the whole story. Anyways, where can I can I go get this to somebody else to put on? <sighs> I mean, if you won't do it, then, like, we're not going to be able to have a play tonight. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> Just bebopping over there, having a great time at, at Claire's Misery. Uh, I mean, yeah, you could do it. I, I assume that you know all of the lines. I'm playing Barb Malian. I'm the star. Well, then uh, you're out of luck, aren't you? I guess there's not a single other person behind this curtain that could put on this costume. You just had to ask the first person that you saw. So, again, not I mean, my problem. You have, you, you have the look. Like, you you really do. I mean, you'd be perfect. Well, you don't having even have to the say anything. You could, and having the have, talent. Is we could just have somebody different. else, like, Thaumaturgy of the Lions. You could just go out there and look pretty. I think she's going to have to convince me. If that's the case. <laughs> uh, so in Kids on Bikes and Kids on Brooms, there's not really like a GM role. It's it's more like I give you guys the difficulty, but uh, you know what? Fuck it. Um, even though a lot of people really hate her, I think Charm is still probably her best ability. Uh, so... Let me get some desired effect dice. Charm is also my best ability, so let's fucking go, Claire. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's let's do that. Let's just do a let's just do a roll off. Let's see who gets a roll off. There. Okay, I'm also using desired effect dice, my <laughs> spy colored dice. Here we go. Nice. nice. I feel so popular today. Oh shit! 
Is that Are dirty? we adding anything? Uh, the, what? You can add the uh, magic d4. But did you say you got a nat 20? I got a dirty 20. Oh. Oh, I also got a dirty 20 with my D4. <laughs> nice. Amazing. What was your, what was on the 20? A 17. Oh, okay. Because I got a 19 plus one. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Oh, man. Uh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Let's just, uh, let's roll again. Because that's okay. uh, fantastic. Oh, that's way worse. That's really bad. It's a 15 on the dice plus four. Amazing. Uh, that's a six nice. total. <laughs> nice. uh, I mean, she just like kind of slumps down onto the floor and starts sobbing. Is like, I was, I was supposed to be the star. Like, can't have a play now without Candanas. Listen, girlfriend, I don't have time for you to melt down. Okay, there's a bunch of people out there <laughs> that are here for this play. And just because I'm not going to play your Kandanas doesn't mean this play is over. So I need you to get it together, look at me. Get it together, and get out there, and do your play. Do you understand? Now, where do I take this costume? Uh, over, over there, I guess. <laughs> Great. Break a leg. <laughs> and, and I go walk like, over to whoever she was pointing at, whatever direction there's people in yeah. that she's pointing at. She just looks very bamboozled right now. She's not used to like not winning <laughs> arguments. <laughs> uh, only so, Nick would witness that, right? If she only. would have been cheering so hard, <laughs> <laughs> throwing popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> great. Uh, so now that you're backstage what's your plan Bozik? yeah I wanna I was trying to get literally anybody else yeah. involved in this other than Claire <laughs> so now that I am away from her I'll uh I'll just kind of go up to the first person or like clump of people I see and just kind of like dump the costume at them like here Claire wanted you to take this, probably find somebody that could fill in in the next five minutes or so. Uh, she said, if you don't do it, then you'll never be in another play again. I I think you probably see Dexandros, the uh, crab claw guy, you know, the mm. big guy, uh, mm -hmm. who is in the, uh, the LARP club, but also mm. the art club. So he's like always a backstage person. Uh, mm. And he's just like, I mean, I've never been in a play because, like, Claire says I don't have the look. I don't know. Yeah, but Claire was telling me that they're just going to thaumaturge your lines anyway, so maybe this is your big, big, big break, buddy. You've got all that practice from LARPing. It just, it's the same thing. You're just LARPing without weapons. Yeah, and I mean, like, I, I don't know if you've seen the play, but there's, like, that whole scene where, like, all the Kendonases fight, and, like, it's it's just LARP, but yeah. it's not. Yeah. I think you got this. I think you got this, dude. Yeah, no. I, and I, I mean, I you're right. We all know how Clara is, anyways. Like, she totally loves cheating. Am I right? Ha ha ha. Yeah, in more ways than one. Yeah, I mean, gosh, can you believe that she tried to get me involved with her whole like AI scheme? I said no, thanks. Ah, uh, yeah, I I heard about that. Like, we're not. Like the backstagers, we're not like in it because you know they don't like us. Those on stagers, uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, no, we we all definitely have heard about it. And I mean, know. I can see the value in her scheme because I'm sure it's quite profitable. So I did consider it. You know, um, I'm sure there's some other people that uh, I could probably talk to about that. Have you uh, heard some whispers of people that are trying to kind of undercut claire for a profit uh it's not so much like undercutting claire she says that she's the mastermind but uh <laughs> really she's just kind of a lackey it's actually like, i've heard it's one of the teachers no way yeah like i don't i don't know why they would do it but but claire's working with a teacher i mean she's gotta suck up somehow like she doesn't go to class. True. True. 
Well, anyways, I think you're going to smash being Kadonis tonight, and I'll be out there rooting for you. And you know what? If you do a great job, all those protesters are going to see that you're the real star, and then you'll really take Claire's thunder. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, High I five? We will. And he just like gives you the claw. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, good luck out there, buddy. Break a claw. Oh, no. No, no I don't want to do that. It's, it's, no, it's, it's good luck. If I say anything else, then you'll die. Oh, shit. That's okay. I mean, like, no pressure or anything. <laughs> no, nah, you got it, dude. And then Bosnick <laughs> just walks back out of backstage <laughs> and back down the stairs to the audience. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> oh, Bosnick getting shit done. Mm-hmm. The one person. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so Nick and Eris, as these security constructs uh, are headed straight for you, like beeline to where you are, uh, what are you doing? Oh, heading back inside to the play, totally. I would like to, I, I was flying above the mm-hmm. crowd a little bit. I would mm-hmm. like to fly up so that they can't get me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you definitely know that they can fly. Damn it's it. A, it's a magic school. <laughs> This isn't, um, this isn't Daleks that like they can't go upstairs. <laughs> They're one weakness. That's what I was thinking. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, okay. Uh, I would like to immediately duck down into the crowd and try and get lost with my little dwarven body. <laughs> it does not take a whole lot of effort. Yeah. Okay. Are you staying outside with the protesters? Like, you definitely see Eris run inside. Uh, right now, I don't want to be seen by those security things, so I'm going to hang out with the protesters, and I'm going to start saying The security things are going for the protesters. Yeah, I'm going to start saying something like, Can't, can Donis can't take our thunder? Barmalian is the best. Why do we like, nobody likes Kendonis? And try to get a, a uh, like a chant going. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> one of the people who isn't protesting, but they kind of look like, I mean, they're wearing the uh, the chitin of like the groundskeepers. Um, mm-hmm. But you would know that this is a student. Uh, they have like the lower half of their body is a just like full on snake tail. Um, the upper half is very like, Still snake-like, but human-appearing torso. Uh, and then just, like, a regular human head on the top. It's kind of a weird, like, why is that part just human? But Yeah, not a Lamia, though. I... No, no. This is I definitely... absolutely know that now. Yeah, this is definitely a Yuanti if this was D&D, but because uh, it's not for legal reasons, we're not calling it that. Okay. <laughs> Definitely not a Lamia, though. I could tell a million miles away. <laughs> but uh, he's just like, hey, uh, I mean, you're not wrong, but like, shh, don't, don't, you're going to get us in trouble. What do you mean, get who in trouble? All of us. Like, did you not see the security constructs? Yeah, but there are so many of us, and there are just three or four of them, and we can take them. Have you not taken, like, magical math because that's more than three for sure um, I am saving it for next semester because I don't like math <laughs> too gay for math <laughs> checks out <laughs> listen Nick, I, I tried it my first semester and I failed and I have to take it again but I don't want to so anyway I don't know. Way too close to home. (laughs) (laughs) I also failed math in my first semester of college. It wasn't my first semester, but I took for, you know, psych major, I had to take statistics and I failed it so hard. And then I took it again, passed with a D. (laughs) (laughs) No, my my calculus grade was definitely an F and I was an engineering student at the time. So that Uh, worked out really well. Yeah, calculus is... I don't even want to think about it because no, nope. not, a, not a math person. Uh, anyway, 
yeah so he's just like i mean there's so many of them and also they're super strong i don't know if you've seen like this no. dude been escorting off campus but here's the thing we got to get into that theater there's stuff going down tonight. I mean, I definitely watched you come out of there like not that long ago. No, we all need to get into that theater. Our I mean, needs our support. We could No, we're we're protesting because Candanas, like we could right. all go in anytime we want. We just don't want to. Why wouldn't you want to go support Barmalian? Because we're protesting Candanas winning the award. Right, I understand that, but then you should go in and boo Candanus when he comes on the stage and go and cheer for Barmalian. But then they'll just like expel us for causing a commotion in the They're the... gonna expel all of us? Who's taking magical maths now? He's like, I I mean I'm pretty sure that I'm the only snake person on campus, so like not a, it's not a risk that I want to take. I've, I've seen at least five other. <laughs> I, I guess I guess we just hang out in different circles. I don't know. Oh, okay. my bad, my bad. Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> I'm an owl. <laughs> Nick, no, you're channeling Millie. <laughs> <laughs> wrong game, wrong game. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Uh. <laughs> You got confused. You thought this Kids yeah. on Brooms was Monster Hearts. <laughs> easy to mix up. Yeah. So um, okay, well, uh, I definitely have to go in there and the, the robots are looking for me, so um, I'm going to skedaddle, um, but keep hope alive and I hope <laughs> that your robots go super well. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> Amazing. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I accomplished uh, absolutely nothing. It's perfect. There you go. No notes. Yeah. Yeah. No notes at all. I just kind here. of uh, try to zip away through the crowd in a different direction now to see if I can get some other people to go boo at Kendanis. Everyone you try to get to like go in and boo is like, I'm not, I'm not taking that risk. Like, guys are all lame none of you have any Protest. bravery at all no we're, we're protesting i'm like... gonna call your mothers and tell them that you are all wimps okay <laughs> damn it it only works in the library <laughs> and that's only yeah only library people, people don't want you to call their mom yeah <laughs> it's only because they all know you and they're like no, she probably knows our mom's number. Well, Nicomas knows a lot of mom's numbers. And a lot of moms. Intimately. Wow. Nick is Nick is definitely about the MILF life. Anyway. Yep. Yep. Go to somebody else. I'm not doing anything yeah. positive I'm, I'm here. So, I'm so glad for the podcast that we're all laughing on mute. <laughs> You're fine. We're fine. We're all good. Oh, yeah. fair. So. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, Harris, as you go back inside, uh, I mean, Bozik, you were going back out into the like seating area, right? Yeah, I was kind of heading back to where I left them originally, but I don't really know what has been transpiring <laughs> since i've been backstage so absolutely uh yeah neither of them is there but i feel like you probably had some sort of agreement like hey let's all meet back here you know if we get separated like just to hang out and you know that way we don't wander around looking for each other all night yeah okay i'll just hang out in that one oh oh i did it backwards i muted myself and then said the word and then unmuted myself um i said okay i'll just hang out in that area then and wait for them perfect <laughs> oh. technology is not our friend here <laughs> we're all super smart at the internet guys 
anyway, uh, Eris, you see Bosik just like hanging out in the back. Uh, I, I don't know. You tell me, Kayla. I would imagine probably feeling kind of confident at this point. Oh, yeah. He's uh, <laughs> he's just like leaning against a pillar, you know, like with his arms crossed, just chilling. Yeah. Just uh, picking up a lot of space. <laughs> Man, Man spreading. spreading all over the place. That's right. <laughs> Uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was that was perfect. Uh, it was I mean, Bosik is always fairly confident in like most situations. Um, yeah, so he just but, looks like extra confident now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, like a nice green glow to him. <laughs> the Ares is just gonna walk up to him and be like, "Oh my god, we just had so much fun." We got to mess with the protesters, and then, um, uh, and then Nick got really loud for a while, and then the constructs came, so I came back inside. Wow, where's Nick now? I think she's still out there. I think she joined the protest. I'm not sure what's happening. Well, as long as she's safe, and uh, as long as she's not in danger of running back to the Doom Scroll room. You know, I think she was having a good time actually. So. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Glad you guys didn't get in trouble, though. That was a little risky. We were just trying to cause a distraction, but I don't know how well it worked. Mm. But you got the protesters all riled up, huh? We did. It was fun. It was a good time. Did you Did you have any luck? I did, actually. Awesome. Um, if you uh, if you want to stick around for the show, there might be a little bit of a twist to the story, possibly regarding Barb Malian herself. Queen Claire. And Ooh. I also got some intel that Claire is just the lackey working for some unknown teacher. Oh, crap. A teacher? I'm not sure who, but now we know that the teachers are involved, and this is a bigger conspiracy than we thought. Uh, yeah, that's pretty intense. Uh, we need to tell Nick. Should we go outside and get her? Well, maybe you can. Wait. I'll wait okay, here. Sorry. I do actually want to see this play now. I feel like we're so invested in it. I know. I kind of do now too. All right, I'm gonna go run outside and get her. Then I'll be right back. Okay. Tell her that. Uh, tell her that it, it's gonna be to the detriment of Claire if we're lucky. Oh, okay. That should bring her inside. Do you also? Outside. Do you also tell her about how like you made Claire cry? Oh! Oh! Wait! 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 Eris. I yeah, need to tell yeah, you yeah. something. This will really this will really motivate Nick. I was able to uh make Claire up quite the breakdown. She asked me to be Cadonis and I basically told her to go stuff it. And then she sat on the floor and had a good cry. It was quite embarrassing for her. Oh my god. I so wish I could have been there. That's amazing. I'm gonna go Nick tell Nick. I loved it. I'll I'm gonna tell, tell, I'm gonna tell, tell Nick to come in so tell. that you can you can tell her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just picturing uh, her like watching as Claire is crying with the, the magical <laughs> paintbrush right. you've got. Just painting a picture of Claire. Painting it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly what she would do. Oh, uh, beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna run outside and then look for the hole in the crowd. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not hard to find. <laughs> no. Nick, 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 Nick. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still running away from the security bots, but... Okay, um... so I think they're gone. Uh, I'm gonna, just going to grab her hand and pull her inside. Come on. Bozik has news. Are you... Are you sh I... I can't... <laughs> I can't get no, expelled. It's, Claire looks bad. Come see. <gasps> okay. All right. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, so, as uh, you all are inside and this play begins, you see that it starts in uh, Barbmalian's dream house. And uh, Claire as Barbmalian looks terrible. Like, you can tell even from the back that she has been bawling her eyes out, like her makeup is smeared because she didn't have time to, to do anything. She was just having this breakdown and was like, we gotta, the show's gotta go on. Bosick so. is like elbowing Nick, like, eh? <laughs> you, you did that? I had a hand in it, yeah. That's amazing. That's Just wait, it's gonna get so much better. <gasps> really? Okay. Yeah, and she, uh, pulls, she pulls popcorn out of her mom bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
is it is it a bag that you got from someone's mom or is it like <laughs> no it's just my haversack that has lots mm -hmm. of room mm -hmm. so i think because it probably and has underwear. some snacks <laughs> so much underwear <laughs> i forgot about the underwear <laughs> um <laughs> And some nice silks and pillows just to put around the deck of a boat in case you needed it to lounge. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she just calls in popcorn and it <laughs> comes right out for her. Yeah. Uh, so as she, as she grabs two is... more to give to like one to Bosic yeah. and one to Eris. Yeah, Bosic takes one, nice. passes it down. Yeah. Honestly, she just starts also passing it out to the people around them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me advance the plot slightly. <laughs> no. No, we don't believe popcorn. Here. <laughs> it's the popcorn show. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I don't know why you what bother are, making a storyline, Rick. People honestly, did I pass popcorns? Who gives me some information? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I mean, how much popcorn are you pulling out? I mean, at least for the people surrounding us, because I don't, I don't want to have to. <laughs> I don't want to seem like I'm being uh, selfish with my unlimited supply of popcorn. I don't think it's quite unlimited. <laughs> I think there is a limit eventually. Okay. <laughs> but for today, all the things that come out are popcorn. Yeah, yeah. Popcorn and maybe popcorn underwear. <laughs> well, <Who knows? laughs> those are just I know it's not important, but is that is it <laughs> underwear that's made out of popcorn that you can eat, or is it underwear with popcorn print? Both. I mean <laughs> Yes. Yeah, the both. answer is yes. <laughs> uh, you tell me, Gala. <laughs> I don't. Why am I involved? I'm not doing anything with the underwear. You They're next underwear. You <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not edible. Just popcorn print. Nick's not. Nick's not crazy enough for edible pop. Edible underwear. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Not yet. That's a Millie thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, come watch that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying to Alana, who's, you know, in it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there is, uh, there's a couple of teachers, like, kind of back here, just hanging out. Uh, not quite next to you, but uh, maybe half a dozen people over. So as you're, like, passing popcorn, uh, you see that one of them, um, who is, like, a bird person, I would say Aarakocra, but for legal reasons, it's not. <laughs> uh, you may have seen her around, because uh, it is a pretty big campus. Um, but you would definitely be able to tell, because the teachers wear, like, a specific crest. Um, and they just, they wear, like, nicer chitons than most people, because, you know, they have, like, real jobs and stuff. You looked like you were going to say something, so I was waiting. Because <laughs> I didn't want to do it again. <laughs> uh, and she just kind of, like, looks over and kind of gives you the side eye. And then just goes to, like, eating the popcorn. Who is this directed at? <laughs> Oh, at you, because I mean you're the one passing out the popcorn. Oh, so what? So, I'm I'm sorry, I got lost. My bad. It couldn't have ever <laughs> happened. Um, I'm, I'm shocked. Because I thought you were talking to Kayla because Kayla had been talking about the underwear. <laughs> this is this is unrelated to the underwear. <laughs> we moved past that forever ago. <laughs> Aaron did okay. not. <laughs> no. I'm still thinking about underwear, obviously. <laughs> All the popcorn underwear. I think it's a really cute pattern. It would be great. <laughs> Can't um, know that Nick wears. 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's her dirty secret because she wanted to to be a drama person. Um, what? <laughs> like, I need it's to... like movie popcorn. Sorry, oh that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Okay, that makes sense. I'm like, how does how does that relate? I follow now. Because my brain is a scary place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did the person do when I gave them popcorn? I mean, it wasn't you directly, but as it was like passed down to this teacher, they kind of gave you the side eye, kind of like mean mugging you a little bit, but they still eat it. Okay. I asked them if they have an allergy to popcorn really loud over the shoulder of Bozik, who I think I'm sitting next to. And I'm like, I'm sorry, did you want a different snack? And they're just like, shh, there's a play. Shh. Well, usually when somebody gives you popcorn, you don't mean mug them. Would, would you let me watch the play? You're so loud right now. Bozik is like, Nick. It's going to get really good in just a second. You got to pay attention. <laughs> so as as Claire, uh, you know, begins this play, she's greeting the other Barbmalians and, you know, she's still actively weeping while talking and her voice is cracking and she's just like, hi, Barbmalian. And they're all super cheerful. <laughs> For the podcast, Erin is dying laughing, but she's on mute, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, oh we God. all need to hear you die. <laughs> it's just really <laughs> funny. Yeah. I'm sorry. It just, it sounds less funny on the podcast when there's just silence. <laughs> or or they could just laugh at our funniness on their own, and so they oh, no, hear their own a, laughter. We need a laugh track. Yeah, we don't need a laugh track, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh yeah so you you get to see as claire is still like having this breakdown uh and then i don't think you know nick uh dexandros but arison bozik at least somewhat know him uh comes out as Kendonis, and like for the rest of the show is just clearly upstaging claire can i can i whistle as he comes out the teacher comes over and like gets right in your face. It's like, ma'am, stop. This is a play. Um, excuse me, excuse don't talk me. to my friend like that. I was also like, both of you to assume that I'm a ma'am. So yeah. why don't you do this? I think you need to turn <laughs> around gender. and get back in your seat and shut up and watch the play. <laughs> it's like Bosley says to the teacher. Can... <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. You, you know I'm a, a teacher, and they point to, like, their, their crest. I, I'm sorry, I haven't been in any of her classes. I didn't know. And that makes you, it makes it okay for you to be an asshole to people during a play? I I mean, the asshole would be the person scene. in this play. You're making a scene. You've gotten up out yeah, of Yeah, I think chair. if we all just shh and, and well, watch the play, it'll be okay. If she would shh when I shh her the first time. I'm sorry, my friend of friends is up there <laughs> doing the role of his lifetime, and I'm encouraging him because he looks freaking hot. <laughs> and she just Have rolls you ever it. seen a claw crab look that good on stage? No, you haven't. <laughs> she just rolls her eyes and walks away. I like how I like how now he's just a crab. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not a not a person with a, a crab. A crab. <laughs> Bozik like leans over to whisper to Nick, like, "Damn, Nick, you just really stood up to a teacher like that. That was crazy." We'll talk about this later. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> honestly, right now I'm you're a little riled up. Great about it. Just, yeah. Take a deep breath and eat some popcorn, and let's get back to the show. <laughs> Sounds good. And about halfway through they go to intermission uh but you can hear claire still crying very very loudly as like people are going to get snacks and things from behind the stage and i mean at this point the the condonis protesters are like well i guess 
I guess, you know, this guy does a pretty good job, so, like, <laughs> whatever. Like, it, it defeats the, the point of the whole play for, you know, the song to win, but, like, I guess this guy does a good job, and, you know, he seems like an alright guy. Also, his musical numbers, he sings himself, so... Somebody thaumaturgies like all the lies, <laughs> but he does all the singing. Yeah, exactly. Actually, his hidden talent. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Amazing. So, so at this point, I mean, are you doing anything else? Or are you guys just watching the rest of the play? Um, uh, I think we're just watching the play at this point. I think we should watch the rest of the play. Yeah, we're pretty invested in it now. Yeah. <laughs> so. As the intermission goes on, uh, people start getting restless in the theater because it's it's gone on for a lot longer than intermissions would typically. I mean, the crying is very loud. So, you know, everyone's a little bit concerned at this point. Hey, Bozik and Eris, um, that's definitely Claire. Like, uh, that's her tantruming, I'm not getting my way kind of cry. Um, uh -huh. I'm like I'm used to that. I know it pretty well on you know on hearing it. Uh sure. should we go back there? I no? don't really okay. want anything to do with her, but Nick, you could try. I mean, you seem to know I mean... her the best. Nick, you stood up to a teacher today. I think you can stand up to Claire. Nick, what if you what if you used this point of weakness to try to find out who it is she's working with? Okay. How do I look? Gorgeous you look so as always. <laughs> okay. Your beard your beard is so shiny. Thank Very you. sleek. I forgot that you've grown a beard now and it's not just like Slay friends. girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not completely filled in, but it's it's getting there. It's um, pretty close. It still counts. Yeah. <laughs> um so I'm like, okay. And I walk in head high walk backstage and I'm like, Claire, what's going on? Get yourself together. You've got a play to be in. Why are you, why are you crying back here? She's like, why are you bossing me around? I don't even like you. Ugh. It's not what your mom used to tell me. <laughs> Shots <laughs> fired. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, anyway. I mean, she still talks about you a lot and I, I kind of hate it. I understand. Your mom and I got very close. Nick, was no. Claire was Claire the cheater? <laughs> yeah. It was afterward. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. And uh, I'm broken. I'm sorry. Um, Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> no, like I came here to see a play, and evidently it's supposed to be the best one ever, and you were in it. So my friends, they dragged me in here, and I expected to see a play, goddammit, but you are just a crying mess. Candonis is like showing you up hardcore. Like, I, you know, I heard something about you being a mastermind behind something like AI, and I don't even believe it. I don't believe that you would do that because all you are going to do is sit here and cry like a little baby. Uh, I'm going to need a snap charm roll from you. Amazing. Ooh. Great. Uh, I'm going to say it's a five. Okay. Okay. So I got a two and a two and I'm going to use a, uh, what's it called? Uh, Your last adversity token? Well, no, because I got a new one because I failed. Oh, that's oh, right. Oh, because you failed the roll. So I got one left, and you know what? I'm going to throw it on top because I want to do better, <laughs> and I want to make her feel a little bit worse. So I got a six. Worse and better somehow. Oh, actually, and I have a plus one. You know what? It's a seven. I'm wow. still going to use both adversity tokens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it... it you the more you what? succeed by... The yeah. more you succeed, it gets better. Yeah. Mm. Sure. So, and I'm wanting to neg her hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, this is this is Nick's transformation into Millie. Uh, Nick becomes a pickup artist, and then the show gets canceled so hard. <laughs> Mostly by me, because that would be terrible. <laughs> so she's just like, "Fuck you, Nick," and like starts wiping her tears. Like you don't even you were never even in a play. Like I could. I could act circles around you, like. Oh, did did you want me to put put on Barb Malian's? I, you know, I feel like I got the gist. Hi, hi, Barb. Hi, Barb. Hi, Barb Malian. I get it. Like, <laughs> and I'm guessing that we're about to have some big monologue from not you, the the other character who's way more important. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I feel like I could be a part of that. So. You, you want me to put on the clothes? I'll do it. My beard is looking hot tonight. She's just like, whatever. It looks okay. Yeah, it does look okay. And, I mean, th I thought you were some big badass hat, hot, you know, head of the drama club, head of this AI nonsense, and you're nothing. Look at you here crying. Not crying, you're crying. Fuck you, Nick. And yeah. she's just like, you wouldn't even know. Like, Kalismir has so many plans. It's yeah, whatever. Fuck you. And like, storms out to go back on stage. Excellent, Kalismir. Got it. Amazing. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, and. uh Eris and Bozik, you see that quite a while after the intermission should have normally ended, uh, the play resumes and the makeup is still very smeared. Uh, but now it looks like, you know, she's wiped some of the like makeup and snot away and she looks a little bit more presentable uh, and like isn't crying anymore. So, you know, actually doing what she's supposed to do and doing a pretty okay job. Uh, Dexandros is still, you know, upstaging her because secret hidden talents, but, you know. Of course. She's, she's doing all right for Claire. But the, the, the supporting actress has a really good monologue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Very, very moving, I'm sure. Yeah. Lots of, lots of tears, lots of, mm -hmm. you know, sniffles in the theater. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, the play continues on. It's a pretty good play. You know, I won't tell you all how you feel about it, but you know, other people are talking about how like it really opened their eyes. Like a lot of a lot of people are just discussing the monologue and also how Candanus. It's not his fault that the song won. That's just some like assholes who nominated it and then voted like. The students didn't even get a say in that. So, you know, can't blame Kendanas for for his song winning. Nick leans yeah. over to Bozik and Eris and says, you know, it's really kind of like uh, Feminism 101. And um, I'm not really moved by it. Honestly, I feel like at this point in New Alexandrian history, we should be a little bit past this. This shouldn't we should be, be but are we, though? I mean, most of us, yes, but mainstream media, no, they're not. Nick, I uh, I don't know what happened back there during intermission, but uh, whatever this is, I'm here for it, girl. This is amazing energy that you're bringing right now. Thank you. I actually think that I maybe had some character development in my journey, <laughs> and I don't think I, I think I'm over Bricker and Claire. Oh, so like, thank God. <laughs> Thank God. That was so a rough no ride. No more doom scrolling, right? No more doom scrolling. Uh, no, definitely not. And also, no more Hobbit girls, okay? Like, just can you stop me if I even go there? Yeah, you have a type, honey, for sure. <sighs> not anymore. New Horizons. Let's we'll try some big girls next time, huh? Okay, I'm ready for it. One of those students is like, I, I, they don't really like being called hobbits. Like, they really prefer halfway. <laughs> you know, that's fair. That's uh, fair. 
It's a little yeah. derogatory. Yeah. Yeah. They don't all have I... big feet. All the ones. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You know what they say about hobbits with big feet? They don't wear any socks, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm glad you know my joke by now. Yeah, I've only heard it a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I learned eventually. <laughs> so are you telling the other two uh, what you learned backstage? Not not until the play's over, because I don't want to I don't want to upset the teacher. But on, on the way out, I will definitely say, "Hey, so uh, evidently, Callismir is our is our person, whoever that is, and maybe it's that bitch teacher who was trying to say all sorts of things to me." <laughs> yeah, do we know the name Callismir? Um, I would say, Bosic, why don't you give me a brains roll? Fine. Which die is that for you? I don't know. Um, <laughs> an eight. It's not terrible. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll say it's a five. That you got to beat. Do I get to add anything to that? And do you have any adversity tokens? I don't know. Yeah, I actually do have some adversity tokens. Um... I don't know. I don't even know what gift it is. Something more specific than that, I think. Mm. Um, I have to beat a five. Mm -hmm. I'll use uh, two of my adversity tokens to do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, you've probably never had his class. Because it's like a an upperclassman, like a senior level class. Uh, but you know that he is a Minotaur. And a lot of students seem to like him. He's very popular. Mm. Okay. What, Aaron? Giggling over there. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Very convincing. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, he he's, you know, very hip for being, you know, older. Uh, teaches history, also coaches, you know, like you do. Like you do. Those uh, who can't teach, teach Jim. I got it. <laughs> yeah. That's nice school <laughs> rock reference. <laughs> But no, he teaches history. And yeah, those who can't do anything teach gym and history. Absolutely. Got it. <laughs> I'm with Sav you. Savage. Same, same <laughs> difference. Yeah, yeah. So like I said, none of you probably would have had his class, but you would have heard of him. Um... Well, maybe we should go find out some more about um, Kalismir and um, maybe do some auditing. Maybe we can try and interview some of the students. Do we know any upperclassmen? Oh, that's a good question. Um, isn't isn't um, Halumi, Halum, Halum, isn't he a year older than me? Yes, Cheese Man. <laughs> He's my best bud, okay? I call him Halloumi. He loves it. We Your best are. Girl. Yeah. Uh, no, he's the same grade as you. Oh, damn it. <laughs> but, I mean, you might have heard of him talk about, like, you know, his boyfriend who's a senior. <gasps> kind of a new thing, okay. like, you know. Doesn't like to, to like talk too much about it because you know. Sure, but uh, when I'm not doom scrolling, I try to get all the deets because I obviously ship him and the new boyfriend a lot, like Bozik and Xanatos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, 
his boyfriend is a grong, but not a grong for legal reasons. Uh, <laughs> whose name is Tug? Okay. Listen, he likes them small, okay? Okay. Small and slimy. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that works great with with Haloom's hairiness, so yeah, it's fine. Hair. Totally. <laughs> it's totally that, yeah. Anyway, yes, you, you know that he has recently started dating a senior. Great. So um, maybe we swing by the library. Um, you know, I think that I think Haloom might be in the <laughs> Doom Scroll. I'm not going there, but he might be in the Doom Scroll room. But he probably okay, Nikki, on. Nikki, promise this isn't Nick just you just trying to get this. to the Doom Scroll, right? No, no, no. But I think because I wasn't doing it, that he really was filling in for me tonight. And. Um, I'm and I'm gonna wear the headphones now because I know I'm a badass bitch. That's right. But um yeah, but I do think that Haloom is in the Doom Scroll room. Probably. I swear. You guys can go in without me. I'll put in the code and I won't walk in. Yeah, okay, 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 Nick. I believe you. We can go find him. All right, so you make your way to the library, uh, into the Doom Scroll area, and then make you put in the, the code to deactivate the magical wards. Yeah, just tell him to come out and we'll talk to him, but you have to like- Why don't you actually... just ask him to come out? Just say you want to talk to him. He's your friend. I know, but- We you trust you. Okay, never mind. Okay, okay, I'm going in. Okay. And I tap tap on Haloom's uh, shoulder, um, reach way, way up, and um <laughs> even though he's like, sitting down <laughs> oh i don't probably know. still reach way up was, yeah. yeah yeah um and i say hey can we uh can we talk to you out of here um i'm not trying to doom scroll again but if we could just uh go out of this room because my friends are uncomfortable in this room for some reason i Did don't you know why you before you walked in yes okay just just checking for no particular reason i mean are they right by the door yeah otherwise no okay <laughs> then yes yeah because you're supposed to put them on before you go in but yeah i did yeah and i mean Halloween's wearing them so he's just like what and like right. just and he's like oh okay yeah yeah and then okay. like walks out and you know reactivates the alarms and stuff and uh takes off the, the earmuffs he's like what what why are you here nick i thought you were going to study or something yeah no i know and by the way thanks for being a friend and letting me doom scroll for so long um but i'm better now but i need to hear all about tug is that right yeah uh that's that's my boyfriend you're right uh but also, I didn't let you. Like, I kept telling you to stop doing that. But whatever. Yeah. Uh, what, what about him? Um, just, is he in a class with Kalismir? Uh, I mean, like, we just started dating. But yeah, he totally is. Okay. Um, okay. I don't... Is it to the point where, like, you could ask him to hang out with your friends? Because I just have some questions about that class. And... I literally know no seniors, but I knew that you were dating one. I mean, like, I don't know if we're quite there yet, but like... Okay, well, maybe you could ask him about that class, because you heard something about that professor of Minotaur. I mean, like, what? Like, what, what are you asking me to do, Nick? Um, I'm just asking about... Like, maybe where his class is located, where his office is, <laughs> what time are his office hours, you know, all that kind of stuff that would definitely be in your boyfriend's syllabus. And also, does he think that he's up to no good? I mean, like, all except for that last thing, you can just go to, like, the directory. Right. But that last part is pretty important. 
Okay, so am I asking like all of the questions or am I just asking that last one? I mean, I'll go get the syllabus and then you go find out if you don't, he's you don't need to know, like you just go to the directory like Yeah, I know, but I like to have syllabuses for all the classes that I might have. Read. It's actually a syllabi. <laughs> it's the one thing that era studied that's right <laughs> uh i mean yeah like i guess i can i guess i can ask like i don't yeah. know i mean like, how, like, well, how do... be really popular but like is he giving off bad guy vibes i mean am i supposed to like do this subtly or am i just supposed to ask him because like it's kind of a weird thing to ask my new boyfriend um well or you could ask him if we could interview him for the drum for the journalism club there it is nick because <laughs> we need to talk to someone in every grade about different teachers i mean i could probably do that that like then i'm not having to like i don't know be weird and stuff Great. Then you can do the weird stuff. And, I'm uh, great at being weird. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, yeah yep, <laughs> sure are. You don't, you don't need to. Of course, I am. It's fine. You don't need to save my. Oh feelings. yeah, no, that like I wasn't, I wasn't denying it. I just uh, okay. I didn't know if that was like a a positive thing or if that was like negative self talk. Would you want to hang out with me if I wasn't a little weird? No, absolutely not. Like that's okay. what I appreciate about you. It's your little exactly. weird. Exactly. Like, you know, you've you've kind of been on the doom scroll thing a lot, and like I know, I know. Just, just I'm, you know, I'm, I'm worried about you. Like just, just talk to Bozik for a few minutes. Bozik will tell you exactly what I did tonight. I told off a teacher. I told Nick Clara. is on her villain era, Haloon. <laughs> And listen, if your boyfriend is cool with it, we'll just we'll just like pretend like we're interviewing him. And it's not even pretend we are interviewing him for the journalism club. Like, yes, we have ulterior motives, but it's not gonna affect him or you. We just really need to get to the bottom of this. That way Nick can be the hero and we can save campus. It's one win for everybody. Also, we will mention how attractive and wonderful you are. Well, he already knows that. Yeah, like I mean, you don't you don't have to do that. Like, I've already got a boyfriend. What am I gonna do? Get two? I could, I could. Yeah, you know what? Actually, go ahead. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, you can get two. Right on. <laughs> Villain era. <laughs> All right, I think that's a good place for us to end, as we have a plan for next time. Uh, I think. Amanda, didn't you say that you have something going on like around the 20th? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> That's my birthday. I know. And I, I know you said that you weren't going to be there. Yeah, anyway, uh, right. we, we won't be here for Pandaros in two weeks. Uh, we'll probably be somewhere doing something. Uh, the Discord was just like up in chat. So if you're here watching us on Twitch and you're not in our Discord, Come hang out and uh, come watch these mm -hmm. fun games and be in all kinds. Thanks, Rick. Yeah, Thanks, thank Rick. you guys for playing. It's been fun. Nick, I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Bosik. I'm really excited about this new chapter of not falling for Hobbit girls. 